<laughs> Hi, everybody, and it is me. I call me Hoseric. And what are we doing tonight? We're talking about transformational experiences, cognition, and the manner in which identity and the self are developed in self development or self growth activities, exercise, whatever you want to call them, and how that relates to narrative in particular. Talking, talking with famous people. So let's look at a couple of example transformational moments or events or kinds of understanding that we can use as a reference point. One of them I'll use as a personal story about me, which is when I quit drinking, I had to go a transformational moment where I went from rational to meta-rational in order to successfully quit drinking because my normal rational solutions weren't working. And so I approached it from a different angle. That enabled me then to engage in meta-rationality on other matters. Uh, so once it's like once turned on, you can use it, you can generalize out with it a bit. The reason I know it had huge significance, a good way to measure the significance of something like that is to say how many of the existing narratives that you rely upon had to be scrapped. And the answer is, well, all my alcohol narratives had to be scrapped and all my atheist narratives had to be scrapped and all my individualist narratives had to be altered such that I was no longer the person who was too smart to be helped by a group of people who were less smart than he was. So that was very transformational moment for me because it rendered, and we can measure how much it was transformational by seeing how many existing narratives that I repeated frequently and affirmed that I have to abandon to make that happen. Well, some of those narratives are what kind of narratives? Most of the narratives I had to abandon to quit drinking were TI, but some of them were NE narratives. So let's look at another kind of uh, transformational experience. So for example, coming into contact with MBTI stuff or cognitive functions. A lot of people find that transformational whether they think they're due at the moment or not, because after they've been talking about it for a few months, they realize they're starting to interpret all their human interactions through this framework, and it's caused them to view things much more clearly. It's caused them to begin to self-develop whether they want to or not, because they understand better. They have, a, they have words they can use now to put the experiences that they, uh, they encounter in their lives into a meaning-making package that produces consistent results that can be compared against each other and generate understanding that informs your behavior and causes you to be more successful going forward. So does that cause you to get rid of previous storylines? Not really, because you usually don't have storylines there. there. It fills a, a needful void of storylines. Most people don't have a good set of language to use to explain cognition. And so when that transformational event occurs, it's the opposite kind. You don't. It's not shattering like the quitting drinking kind where you have to shatter your existing self in order to rebuild something healthy, it's instead additive. You have now a new tool and it starts to color everything down and up and it's much more gentle on your soul than, than the uh, destructive kind of transformational experience. So I'll pause here and ask if anybody has any thoughts on transformational experiences and narratives in the fashion that I've indicated here. Uh, MBTI stuff. I think for some people it can certainly do that. I think that could be deceiving because it's 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 claiming to give too much information about that kind of stuff, uh, un inaccurate information that that seems awfully defined. It, it, it informs more than it should. Like for example, how different are the ENTPs that you came across? Nick, like for example, your 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 my differentiation is explained through the cognitive function model, even though we're supposed to have the same cognitive functions. To me, because my explanation is this. I came out like this because I was raised in an environment that expressly promoted in me NE. My parents liked the fact that I seemed smart and came up with clever ideas and rewarded me for that in lots of ways, conscious and unconscious. Your parents are religious. You had to work the FE to, to shroud up the TI-NE combo that was no doubt occasionally inclined to make waves that weren't ever productive for you. Sales also is a, a, a differentiating variable. Bit of chicken and yeah. egg there. That's true. Very true. FE climbed me out of the hole that I got myself into when I first came here. Would you say that was FE? What climbed me out of the hole? 
I said that was Essie, the ability to persist. It wasn't anything you did, it was the fact that you wouldn't go away. <sighs> I mean, you just wouldn't go away. There was nothing I could do, right? Because whatever you, whatever position you thought you were in, the position I was in was, am I gonna have to sit here all day and keep dismissing this fucker? He, he's not going away. It doesn't matter how badly I just, I like, I feel as though I just was out in the street yes, last night, kicking his limp body across the, uh, across the street. And yet here he is seemingly fine the next morning. Uh, didn't I just kick you across the street last night? And then no, apparently I didn't because I, you know, I had, you'd have some broken ribs or something and you appear to be sprightly in your jogging suit. Hi, Eric, here I am. What the <laughs> fuck is this guy doing back again? He's supposed to be scared away. I, there's nothing I could do. I just had to, I had to spin it so it looked like I won, but I didn't think I could actually win it. You won by attrition. You won, you won by persistence. I don't know if it was a win-loss thing. It, it, it was a win-win. I mean, your presence here is hugely valued. It was absolutely a win for me, oh. but I, what I'm saying in terms of perceptual stuff, I spun what was not a win for me, namely that you were driving the bus, I was not controlling what you did, you were controlling what I did. But I managed to successfully spin it to look like I was making the decisions rather than, than being forced by you. Remember the day you came in, Nick, after thinking about it, you could stay. And then I left. Just two second thing. All right, but I did, I did a little bit better than that, Nick. I said, Oh, Nick, I know you did. Nick, I think I I've, I think I've extracted enough from you. You can yeah. stay. Now that 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 implies that I'm taking mercy on you. That's not what was happening. You used to smile at me on my cell phone. I need more phone smiling from you. You used to smile at me on my cell phone. Hi, this is Julie. I'm doing famously. You used to smile at me on my cell phone. Talking, talking with famous people. I'm doing famously.